Hey, hey, y'all. It's me, Tetra from Tetra's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to get you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, my information's in the description box. And let's get into this. So, I think I'm going to incorporate a daily um, <clears throat> angel message. Or a message from your angels. I'm sorry. You know you normally get an angel message at the end of the reading. But this is different. What do you want to say to your mind? Say to Gemini. Okay. Shower of abundance. Blessing in disguise. So something was a blessing in disguise. Okay. Something that you deemed um something that you deemed unfortunate or something that you deemed as bad, okay, was really a blessing in disguise. And I feel like whatever that thing is, is going to bring a shower of a bless of abundance. What's the overall energy for today? What's the overall? What's the overall energy for today? There's that passion ignited. <coughs> I feel like with this card, your intuition is going to bring you a, there's something that intuitively you know you should be doing that's going to bring a shower of abundance, okay? Because purple is about intuition. What's overall energy for Gemini today? Obstacles and challenges in reverse, okay? So, bottom on the deck positive forward movement okay so where there was once obstacles and challenges i feel like that's being moved out of the way okay let's get the witches for wood some Awakening Secret mm. Grounding Okay I feel like you're going to awaken to some secret That's going to bring you abundance Okay I feel like a lot of the secret that you're awakening to Is what I talk about a lot on this channel Which is about affirmations And how to bring certain things into your life, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys have awakened to that. And um, I feel like, so some of you guys may actually work with a book of shadows. Some of you guys may make a book of shadows, which is nothing but a book of spells. Like how I, um, and it's, some, it's something that can be passed down. So like how I, yesterday's reading, the second reading, I talked about a money spell. So let's just say I have my book of shadows out and I say, because today is money day. Today is money day, right? Thursdays are good for money. Thursdays and Sundays. Um, and you can go look up the days of the week. You could Google it. Days of the week that, coinc that coincide good for like spell work. If you're, if you're doing spell work. 
but in my book of shadows I may put on there on Thursday the spell calls for it to be a Thursday okay let's just say uh, 11 p.m. 11 a.m. because 11 a.m. is the hour of Jupiter and you know Jupiter is all about your money so Thursday at 11 a.m. I'm going to use some kind of prosperity incense. These new cards really don't shuffle like I want them to. You really have to get your oils and stuff on them. Um, from from your hands. But anyway, um, so I'm going to use some kind of prosperity incense. I'm going to take a green candle. Okay, I'm going to take a money oil, a prosperity oil. If you don't have a money or a prosperity oil, an almond oil or an olive oil, okay? I set a green candle in the olive oil, almond oil, or money oil. I'm gonna take cinnamon, and I'm gonna carve my name into that green candle, and maybe write an amount on the candle. Okay. That will go in my book of shadows as one of my spells, as a money spell. Okay, I might use a, a crystal along with that. I may use like a green abiturine or a citrine. Okay, and there you have a money spell that you can put in your book of shadows. So some of you guys really do have a book of shadows. For others of you guys, I just feel like you're awakening to the secrets of how to bring good things into your life. Of how to bring sovereignty in your life. Sovereignty, sovereign, sovereignty is about being, um, not having to answer to anybody. Okay. Being totally independent. Okay. That crow. Is someone who just lives off the land, who lives off the dead. Okay. Um. So I feel like a lot of you guys are awakening on how to be independent with this sovereignty. Fox. Being smart like a fox. Cunning. Okay? Smart like a fox. That means watching everything that's going around, going on around you. Intuiting what you need to intuit. And not talking a lot. Okay? So not talking about the secret. The things that you've come into. Some of you guys have read books that have opened your eyes to certain stuff. Some of you guys are studying. This is the path that you're on and you're studying all kinds of stuff. Some of you guys are into the secret. I, I, I really think the secret, the, that movie left some things out. But in any event, some of you guys are really trying to ground yourselves with like meditation. And in the midst of you, you, doing this grounding some of you guys are to, uh, are, are dealing with Taurus Virgo Capricorn or Taurus Virgo Capricorn are, are, are in your chart okay with this earth up here but in the midst of this grounding okay in, in the midst of you meditating you're getting all kind of messages because like I said birds are messengers so you're getting all kind of um, messages or awake or um what do they call them downloads that's awakening you awakening you to your abundance and your prosperity okay your intuition there's that purple again awakening you to your partner love okay some of you guys have figured out how to bring those things into your life okay shower of abundance to heal your financial situation first give us your worries concerning money we will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. So this is saying that it doesn't have to take a long time. It does not have to take a long time. And if it does, it's only because you think it's going to take a long time. Because your thoughts create. Okay? Bomb on the deck, independent. That's the sovereignty. If you're not self-employed, it may be time to have an entrepreneur mindset. Consider investing and committing yourself to your own business. 
your your financial freedom will come from being able to stand alone you can do it that's that sovereignty that is that sovereignty I may need to remove this cloth I may need to remove this cloth The people who you spend the most time with will shape who you are. So if you hang around lack-minded, poverty-minded, broke-minded, gossip-minded, people, then that shapes how you do things, okay? Because anything that you're constantly exposed to, you will start to do it. Subcon like unconsciously, you'll start to do it. Have you ever been around somebody and they said something <clears throat> like this? Just say you were around somebody and they say no cap all the time. No cap, no cap. That's not even something that you say. You'll find yourself saying stuff like that. And not that there's anything wrong with it, but that's not something that you normally would say. Okay? That's what that's what happens when you hang around people. You pick up their you pick up their their traits, good or bad, okay? energy don't you and I encounter today what energy would you and I encounter today So I feel like you've given up on a relationship or a partnership, okay? With this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse. You're, you, you've removed this blockage or this obstacle or this challenge. That's exactly what that overall energy is. Because seven of, seven of Wands can also be about blocks. It might blocking you. So I feel like you've removed... Whatever was blocking you in terms of a relationship, a two of cups, a partnership, could even be business, okay? You remove that, giving up on that. <clears throat> yeah. You don't want to be in conflict with this person anymore. You don't want to be in conflict with this person anymore. I feel like this is this is somebody who was overly focused on money, very greedy. Yeah, you've lost hope, and you see me just flip the deck because I'm thinking that my deck is upside down, and uh, everything's still coming out in reverse. <clears throat> so you've lost hope and faith in this situation. Could be dealing with a Aquarius. Yeah, you're looking for change, and change you shall have. Change you shall have.
this is somebody that was juggling back and forth or that you were going back and forth about whether you should end it with them. So either this is somebody that was juggling or somebody that you were juggling the idea of, of whether to engage or not or be with or not, but you're ending it. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or an earth sign. You decide to end it. Mm-hmm. You've gotten some kind of clarity or some kind of truth about the situation. Okay. Obstacles made you not run into today. I feel like you may get some kind of communication from this person or from someone saying that they are broke and unhappy. Okay. So somebody trying to pull on your heartstrings. I feel like somebody from your past, somebody that you've lost hope and faith in. Okay. Somebody that you don't want to renew with. This is, this is how you're going to know who this person is. Yeah, somebody's going to pull a Lazarus here. Who dealing with an air sign? I got air, fire, earth out here, and water. All of them. Aquarius specifically. But somebody's going to pull a Lazarus here and try to come back. Somebody that you don't want to renew things with. Somebody that you've lost hope and faith in the situation. But I feel like they may come towards you or you may get some kind of message from them stating that they're broken, unhappy. Okay. Trying to fuck with your peace. <laughs> Shit. And it may be because, yeah. Yeah. This person is fucked up. <laughs> this person is fucked up with this ten of swords. Trying to come fuck with your peace and happiness. They heard you was happy. They heard you were happy and here they come. Mm -hmm. Somebody that you released. Mm -hmm. Their money fucked up. This Knight of Pentacles, their money may have come to a halt. That Knight of Pentacles and that Five of Pentacles. Yeah. They heard you were happy. That's why I be telling you about talking so much, especially to your friends. And especially if your friends know the people that you be dealing with. Because all they're going to do is tell them. Yeah, they heard you was happy. Now here they come. They heard you was doing good. Now here they come. This tells me that this is somebody who was who probably left you for another situation or was already in a situation when you met them because that Ten of Cups came out twice. Here we go. Could be this Emperor here. Could be dealing with an Aries. I hadn't seen him all reading. Oh, let's, let's use a different deck. Give me a possible outcome for Gemini. notice as soon as you start to get yourself together here people come okay let's take notice of that too there's that good old king of pentacles so you know king of pentacles is taurus or aries right so still that could be an aries showing up mm -hmm. sagittarius <clears throat> Mm 
I feel like even though this person comes towards you or will come towards you, I don't feel like you're putting any effort into it. Or even engage in it, okay? I don't see where you're going to... Uh-oh. I don't see where you're going to um, engage in this. Yeah, you've made up your mind. You've made up your mind about this situation. Two of swords in reverse. Yeah, you're going to continue to hold back from this situation. And move the fuck forward. Mm-hmm. This chariot card out here could be dealing with a cancer. I don't know why this somebody might come towards me begging begging yep baby baby please tell you how much they love you <laughs> mm. again you're looking for change you're looking for change could be dealing with a leo what's this a ram what, what the hell is that is that a ram Oh, that a monkey. Could be dealing with a Leo. Because that's a monkey and a rabbit. And I don't know. But could be dealing with a Leo. But you're looking for change. You're starting to make things happen in your life. Things are starting to change. And you're not willing to look back. Okay? Which I like. Let's get an angel message. Some of you guys are, are in interracial relationships. You may be black and the person is white. Or you have, may have just met someone. I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of opportunity or, or you guys are going to be bringing a bunch of opportunities, a bunch of different opportunities into your life. So I would say to stay focused. Okay. So Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. So you'll know when a new video comes out for all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.